We knew that they were under control of the IRGC, and their main activity was, uh, I mean, still, was intelligence gathering. Uh, we didn't, we, we weren't aware of, I mean, actually with, the, with that platform, for instance, we weren't aware of the scope of the activity, but we knew uh, they just, they just uh, target people which they are interested uh, from the point of uh, view of the IRGC or the, or the, let's say, any intelligence services in Iran. And uh, it, they can be, I mean, simple journalists go to the, someone who works for the think tanks or, I don't know, someone who's working on the sanction or a staff member of the embassy around the world or even inside Iran. But what they've been doing is they've collected intelligence uh, about anything. I mean, they, and also usually what they've been doing it, they usually, they still, they, as far as I know, they haven't used a kind of sophisticated methodologies, same as the Chinese or Russian hacker. One of the, one of the, my takeaway from the expo, I mean, when I look at the simple screenshot of the platform was, they were using it for the social engineering. They want to understand, for instance, any sovereignty is, uh, is linked with X, Y, Z, or you. And then if they can target you, because I trust you, they can, through your email, they can target me. It's kind of, kind of uh, chain attack, I mean, supply chain attack.